Hi, Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Can you hear me? No. Yeah, we can. We just can't see you. Just hold okay. 30 seconds. Otherwise, we're just looking at... Okay, fine. James, shall I say the question again? And we'll go. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you made three substitutions at, at once in the second half. Was, did, did that show just how disappointed and frustrated you were with Chelsea tonight? No, I just wanted to give an impact uh, from the bench. We have five substitutions and we wanted to use them. We have trust in the players who are on the bench and we wanted to give fresh legs and, and new energy. Okay, next question, please. I can't see anyone, so please speak on the microphone and we will try and answer. Uh, hello, Thomas. Can I just ask you, what, what do you put the defeat down to? There, there seemed to be an unusual lack of sharpness, of, of, of being clinical uh, amongst your players. It, was that a lack of freshness? It was a bit of a hangover from the weekend? No, absolutely not the weekend because we had a day off and, and two very good training sessions yesterday. Uh, we were absolutely sharp, very, very, um, looked very fresh and very hungry and uh, ready for, for a bounce back. I think it's uh, very, very difficult to, to, to put on a high rhythm against uh, a team that uh, defends so, so deep. It was a bit like um, the completely way around, like the Manchester City game. And uh, it was very, even if we defended deep against City, it was very, very difficult for them to create chances. And it was the same for us. The big difference was that uh, we gave two big, uh, big, um, we had two big ball losses that cost us confidence and and brought the the the, um, the belief in back into the stadium because like how we played and dominated in the beginning, we could have been of course uh, already one one zero behind but uh, one zero up but this was uh, the problem and and Manchester City scored from a set piece. Uh, against us uh, with a deflected shot. Sometimes you need this if a team defends so deep like we did against City and like you did against us. It's very hard to find your own, own, own rhythm, but we can do better. We can do better in penetrating the last 20 meters. We were lacking, uh, of course, runs. We were struggling to find our rhythm and, and, and to keep the belief in our structure. And once we, 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 we started to do uh, other things than we wanted to do, we did mistakes. And that cost us a bit of belief, but uh, was no problem because they couldn't score. And then we give a cheap goal away, and then yeah, of course uh, things get more complicated because suddenly every every one duel is like a, a step closer for victory for for Juventus, and it's exactly the situation that you want to avoid. Okay, we're going to do two more. Thomas, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Hello, see. Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you, you had one shot on target tonight and there were zero shots on target against Manchester City. Do you think that's a temporary problem or is it something you're worried about moving forward? No, it's maybe a shooting problem because if you don't shoot, you cannot be on target. <laughs> so and if you play against a deep, a deep, uh, a deep block like today, it is, it is allowed to shoot and to take shots. It's, um, like I said, we, we found the spaces. It was very, very, it was not easy to get a lot of shots, but uh, I think there are some chances uh, today late in, the, late in the game where it's not so hard to find the target. So, uh, um, like I said, I was, we were lacking like the same uh, aggression that we had yesterday in runs and penetrating the last 20 meters. I had the feeling that if it was a 50-50 decision, we went back, we went safe, but we don't, wanna, we want, don't wanna play back. But listen, I mean, uh, this game is, uh, is, was a bit the same game like against, against Atletico Madrid last season and we won with a bicycle kick, 1-0. Uh, Today we also had chances, chances to, to, to score. It is difficult, but we can do better, of course. OK, last question. Anyone else want a question? Matt Barlow, number 83. He's got his hand up, waving. Yeah, him. He's the last one. Thanks. 83 at the end. Keep going. Yeah, it is like bingo. Yeah, bingo. Yeah, it's bingo. 83. Hello, Thomas. Um, I'd, I'd like to ask you, um, please, what, what were your feelings on the goal 12 seconds into the, the second half about the, the way the team came out? And just quickly, how you see the group now? They're disappointed. We're all disappointed. It's normal. Um, 
Um, it was the, the tough game that we expected. It, uh, it is never easy to score against teams like, like Juventus or like Atletico Madrid. You have to be patient and you have to play uh, with zero, zero mistakes in, 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 in midfield and you have to take the risk in the exactly right moment. And for this you have to be very clever and you have to have a high rhythm and good decision making and you need to be very, very fresh. I don't felt as fresh today mentally. I felt as yesterday totally sharp in training and, and ready. Today it was not like this. I don't know why. Um, yeah, if you need any proof uh, after the ball losses, there's two ball losses in first half maybe is, uh, is the goal after 10 seconds from a long shot. is. is um, is is untypical for us to we have we have in our in our defensive structure to give a, a cheap goal away like this and uh, yeah it's a bit like it describes the whole game that this is the decisive goal.